just play one note, and, and, and when you play the one note, let the note sustain, okay? <laughs> Do the vibrato. Okay, so what's happening here is when you do the vibrato, you, gotta, you have to release the note all the way down. What's happening is you're bending the string up and it's not always coming all the way back down again. Okay. So it's not in tune. Right. Mm. It's, it's, even if the top part, this, even if that's in tune, it's not in tune anymore when you go down. got to come all the way down, mm -hmm. right? Try it again. All right, that's pretty good. Just a stay, stay, on, stay on the one note. Just stay on, just stay on B. Okay, that's pretty good. So now you're coming all the way down. And now you want to focus on having... However far up you want to bend, having you, we want you always to do that width, mm -hmm. always to do that depth right bottom for now. So you can do it shallow, or you can do it wide, or very wide or whatever, but just pick a depth and then try and get it to be consistent. No, no, no. Slower. Let's stay on the same note. Let's stay on... Second string. Hold on. Oh. Oh, oh. All right. Let's make for now. Let's keep it more shallow. Okay. Come all the way down. find this when if you would practice that at home does that sound boring to you do you get bored uh, over time yes but uh, how much time 30 seconds three seconds three hours five minutes ten minutes okay if you did this five minutes a day you would develop pretty good vibrato pretty quickly it doesn't really take that much time mm -hmm. so you have the ability to bend the strings I think that your ear is probably good enough to detect when it's in tune and when it's not, okay? Um, I think you seem to have a good enough sense of rhythm to get the rhythm pretty consistent. See, some people don't have those skills yet, mm -hmm. but I think you do. So that means that being able to develop this shouldn't be as hard for you as it might be for someone who didn't have those skill sets yet. So that means you're not very far away mm -hmm. from getting to where you want to go, okay? When you first came up and you started playing and I asked you to play some notes, you played a note, you did vibrato, maybe you bent the string three or four times, and then you stopped and you went to a different note and you tried to do that. So it was, it was kind of like this. Okay, That's not enough time to really hear and practice the vibrato. You have to stay on the note for a long time and, and not play anything else. Okay. You have to be willing to just do that mm -hmm. again and again and again. And when I say again and again and again, I don't mean this. That, that's, that's not what we're looking to do. Does that scratching sound annoy you? Mm, yes. I thought so, because every time it started to scratch on your guitar, you stopped playing. Mm. Okay? Don't let it annoy you. Okay. I know it's a little bit annoying mm. sometimes, but you need to keep going past the point of where the note would naturally decays 
to, to revive the note and keep it going so that you know that you're able to do it consistently and you, that you are doing it consistently. If you stop too early, you really don't get the practice in, okay? That's the kind of practicing that we're looking for. Mm -hmm. Now we know if it's in time or not, if it's in tune or not, if it's consistent or not. We don't know that if we do this. We don't know anything yet. Okay, so try it again. If you want a way to help keep the other strings quiet, take your middle finger and put it on the first string. So it's gonna keep it quiet. Mm -hmm. And when you pick the second string, Take your pick and rest it against so string number three. And all the other strings should be quiet. Okay? Try it again. Vibrato. The vibrato. Keep, keep, keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep it going. Okay, now, remember, that's good. But now remember, we're going to bring the note all the way down. It's going to come all the way down. Okay, that's pretty consistent on the way up. You're doing a very good job of getting this consistent. That was very, very good. So now, just remember, every single one of those has to come all the way down. You're, dude, you're, you're right there. You're that mm -hmm. far from mastering this. You're not far at all, okay? Let's try it again. Don't worry about the noise. Don't worry about the noise. I mean, you, take it, okay. I said don't worry about the noise. Let's worry about the noise a little bit. <laughs> take, take your pick and rest it against the G string. Okay. Consistency, consistency. No, that does, that, that's not for you, that's for me. Yeah. Mm. I'm just checking. Yeah, yeah, okay. That, that's it. You just need more practice, but that's it. Okay. That's it. That's it. There, there's really, this, this vibrato thing comes up a lot. A lot of people have questions about this, um, but it's really not hard if you're willing to be patient and just sit there and do it. If you like my videos on YouTube, you'll love my personalized breakthrough guitar lessons. I'm going to show you exactly how to transform your guitar playing from being just sort of okay or pretty good to being really awesome, even if you feel stuck right now with your playing or are having some self-doubts. So imagine how much better your guitar playing will become when you know exactly what to do and exactly how to practice. And you have the guidance and roadmap to get you there. Now, I've done this for thousands of people over the years all around the world. Now, if you're willing to do the work, if you're going to follow what I teach you, follow what I'm telling you to do, and if you practice at least 30 minutes a day on the stuff that I teach you, I'm absolutely certain I can help you become the guitar player you want to be. Now, unlike other lessons out there on the internet, you're not going to get a bunch of generic cookie cutter lessons from me. You get lessons customized to you who you are, what your goals are, your challenges, your strengths, your weaknesses, your learning style, experience, frustrations, and most importantly, who you want to become as a guitar player. So check out my Breakthrough Guitar Lessons at tomhess.net forward slash guitar and see if they're right for you. I'll see you on the other side.